All right, Miss Linda. Um, I'm having to record this myself and actually hold this, so we're going to have a lot of stops and starts. Um, but basically, this is that sugar-free, no-carb cheesecake. Uh, basically, what I've done is I have put five packages of Philadelphia cream cheese, the one-third less fat. You have to get the one-third less fat because it's the only one that has less than a carb. Um, so that's the one that you need to get. I put all five packages into my mixer and basically I just um, mixed it up a little bit. The recipe says you can throw everything in all at once. I don't like to do that. I like to mix my cream cheese at room temperature um, and make sure it's smooth. So the rest of the recipe basically is three-fourths of a cup of Splenda, whoops, um, two tablespoons of lemon juice and five whole eggs. I recommend cracking your eggs first. Um, so that you make sure you don't have any dead baby chickens in there and you don't get any shells. Sorry for the commentary. Okay, so basically um, I'm just going to start adding these things in one by one. I'm going to turn my mixer on. I'm going to add the Splenda first. There it is. And here it goes. That is three-fourths of a cup of Splenda. Just go kind of slow. Obviously, so we don't Put it up in a puff of smoke. Nobody wants to wear Splenda. Okay, I'm going to kind of scrape down the sides of the bowls. And again, I hope you can see this because... Okay. I'm going to let that go for just a minute. That looks pretty good. So I'm then going to put in um, the lemon juice. And off it goes. And then we're going to try to do these eggs um, one at a time. going to stop the mixer and I'm going to scrape down the bowl get all the bits off the bottom because you get a big old clump of cream cheese down there Turn it back on. Kind of a medium speed. We're going to go again. And some more eggs. We have two eggs left. And one more. That is all of the ingredients. Okay, I'm going to scrape the bowl again some more. Okay, we're going to stop the mixer. Gonna lift everything up and we are going to scrape the inside of the bowl again. Basically the two big things to um, cheesecake is just make sure your batter is really smooth and don't cook it at too high of a temperature. Those are kind of the key things. If you can do those things and you see most of it's pretty creamy but we still need to let it mix a little bit more. Just making sure I get all the chunks off the top. Okay. Sorry for the movie in the background. The Winter Soldier. Okay, we're going to turn it on. Let go a little bit more. And I 
will be back in just one moment with a prepared pan and a done mix. So hang tight. We'll be right back. Okay, darling. Here is the finished product. It's nice and smooth, as you can see. Um, it has stated to put it in a pie pan, which I'm not going to do because it's cheesecake and I'm not putting this in a pie plate. Um, I took just a small, probably an 8-inch uh, springform pan and I went ahead and put some tin foil underneath it uh, just to make sure that I don't lose um, any of the filling. Uh, I believe the uh, recipe also recommends that you cook it at 350, which we are not going to do. Mine is set at 300. Uh, and I would just keep a real close uh, check on it. As soon as I get the, patter, the batter in the pan, I'll take another uh, quick video and show you, because again, I'm holding this and I can't put the batter in and record at the same time. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, my dear, um, cheesecake is in the pan. And for this particular recipe, this eight inch spring form um, works perfectly. I like my cheesecake to be nice and thick, like it's supposed to be, not thin. Um, this will probably take a little bit longer to bake. As a rule, um, I'll set the timer for 45 minutes and then I'll start checking it um, thereafter. If you cook it too fast, um, it can get too brown on the outside, not done on the middle, and then you'll also get cracks on the top. So uh, as soon as this comes out of the oven, I will take another quick uh, bit of the video and let you see that end part of it. Again, this is not my um, usual recipe that I use, so I'm not going to say anything about how good this cheesecake is going to be until we actually try it. Um, this one is a new one for me. I have a base cheesecake recipe that I use that's phenomenal. This is not it. This is from Pinterest. So um, I'm sure it'll be fine and it's probably going to taste really good, but, uh, but we'll find out probably in a couple of hours. So love you. See you back here in just a few.